Guess where? Detroit, Michigan. White trunks with red and blue stripes. Challenging and the leading contender for title honors, weighing 146 and a half. A welterweight that has done almost everything asked of him. 26 great knockouts and 28 wins. He is known as a Motor City Cobra. Here is the undefeated hitman, Tommy Hearns. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as his opponent, outstanding king of the world of weights, really needs no introduction to the world over this tonight, his 12th title defense in an outstanding career. 24 knockouts and his 27 wins. Ladies and gentlemen, he weighs 146 pounds with dark green velvet trunks out of Mexico City. Yes, the king of the weatherweights, Pepino Cuevas. Well, Cuevas has his share of supporters here. You saw some signs urging on Pepino, but it's a Tommy Hearns crowd. The rules presented, prescribed by the World Boxing Association, the scoring is figured on a 10-point plus system. 10 points to the winner of the round. The referee and the two judges will score the fight. Mandatory eight count is in effect for all knockdowns. The three knockdown rule is in effect. The fighter will win by a TKO if he knocks his opponent down three times in any round. And a fighter can be saved by the bell only in the final round. And round one. War II, they bill it. Hearns in the white trunks, Clavis in the dark, they green. The left foot. Hearns felt coming in that Clavis would make an easy target. Well, he is an easy target, but the whole thing is getting overconfident and taking a gamble because he can't punch. We talk about Hearns' right hand. Let's not forget about a punishing left jab. Always got to, and listen, Hearns' best punch is a counter left hook if you fall in. It's not only that. He's a complete fighter. He's not just a, a jab or right foot to fight. He punches with either hand. There goes the slippery shoes. He got leather shoes on, and I, uh, Hearns has got rubber shoes on. Well, that's got to be something your handlers have to go and check the surface of the ring. Well, they got to get that rosin out, and they got to cut his, cut the, uh, the shoe lace, the bottom of the shoes with the knife or something. Hearns with a combination, and he is on the attack here in round one, and a right hand, right hand to the head of Clavis and a left to the body. Tommy Hearns stalking Pepino Clavis in this first round. Halfway through the opening round. Cuevas takes an excellent punch, and he's, he's absorbed some real good shots already early. He's never been knocked down. 22 years old is Cuevas. Hearns is 21. Cuevas backing up is making the wrong move in there because Hearns picks up momentum when he backs you against the ropes. Good right hand following a left. And Cuevas is taking the punishment now. And if he can show Hearns that he can take this kind of punishment, it could turn to his advantage. Yeah, but that kind of punishment don't do nobody no good. Cuevas got to start getting some respect from, from Cuevas. Less than a minute to go in round one. It's been Hearns round thus far. Right hand staggers Cuevas. Takes a great punch. That was a beautiful shot right on the chin. Hearns with that tremendous shoulder and arm strength. Well, the whole story is going to have to survive early, Cuevas, to be in this fight with Hearns. Less than a half a minute to go in the opening round. Hearns keeping outside. Chris jab as he connects right there. But the right hand has done damage here in round one. Cuevas looked toward his corner the last time around. Ten seconds to go in the first round scheduled for 15 for the WBA Welterweight Championship. Stalking Cuevas in round one, Angelo. Really hit him with a real good right hand shot, and he took it real well. Round two now. 
See what Lupe Sanchez told Cuevas between rounds. Cuevas is a very strong individual. He got hit some of the best punches I ever saw her throw. Slip there right goes there. the slippery shoes. They got to do something about those shoes because this kid ain't going to get no momentum on his punches. No traction. 18-foot ring. Hearn has been going after Cuevas. None of those punches did much damage. Pino hasn't been in position to land that left hook. He's had to keep his distance against Hearns, and that reach is paying off here. Well, the whole thing is he's not firing back. Hearns is punching him at will. So Pino's going to have to get something going because he's going to be dominated. Good right hand. Following it up is Thomas. All right, Clavis can take the punches and accommodation as John Pepino against the ropes, and now he fights back. And this is the war we had anticipated. Cuevas misses wildly with a right and left. Hearns on the attack. Will School, under Emmanuel Stewart, at the Croc Recreational Center in Detroit, came from the Detroit streets, and they love it here at the Joe Louis Arena. Cuevas already showing us some uh, lumps on his left side of his face from those punches he just got hit. Minute to go, round two. Solid left hand coming back with the right. The combinations for Hearns, who's following up. That's right. And Pepino's missing all his punches so far. He can't get no traction under his feet. That's his big problem right now. Spending the entire two rounds backing up, which is not his style. That's correct. He's got to take the play to Hearns if he's going to do anything with him. Hearns has no is down and he's all right he shakes his hand tells stanley christadillo the referee he's okay and that's all the fight is over it ends in the second round and thomas Hearn becomes the new wba welterweight champion The fight unofficially stopped at 2.38 of the second round. Beautiful. Thomas Hearn with his 27th knockout in 29 victories is the welterweight champion. And there's Cuevas in his corner, and I don't think he had any idea what hit him. Take us through it. Great right hand. Great way he reacted. He fell down. Second hand, right hand wasn't even necessary. On he was way on down. his way down. Face down, Christodoulo right on top of him, counted. He got up about the count of six, told Christodoulo he was okay. He got up in time, but Lupe Sanchez jumped up and stopped the fight. The manager, because he knew the kid had nothing, he was out of it. Here is Tommy. Hey, man, just spit it right in there, don't worry about it. Up your hands, be sharp, change your angles. Give him that, hey, hey, come on. And snap your punch. So you saw the contact.